Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, when using, when doing artwork and writing letters, okay, depending on how you're using your dots, okay, we're gonna try and see if we can understand how the letters are. Now, if I was to create an E, right, the simple way to create an E is if I have a dot over here, right, that right away, I usually am connecting the dots. But because one is odd and one is even, I'm not going to connect that dot, and it's going to be what I is. So when you're looking at the Hebrew letter Shin, you can be looking here. When you're looking at Taurus, if I would just use these three-letter words and then use the V again, with I sorry, the O again, and then the L, inside of this piece... And also, we have to understand the size of the dots as well. So what happens in Taurus, when you're seeing that, that sign, you know, the sign of Taurus, what happens is they don't need this bottom here. These lines are going to represent the O. Just like the extra line represents over here, that represents the I that's on the top, right? right over here, and then we're going to go back and we're going to finish off with this word. So now inside this word, you might see it this way, right? But if you turned it around, we might have a nine, right? Or we might have a six. Now, so when we have this six, so this also looks like a, a real, right? At the same time, if I would draw that straight line, this would be the R, Right, and but the line to the leg of the R is not here. This is the I, the IR go together three times six, three plus six. Now, this is just a, a question I ask myself. At the same time, if this was in Roman numerals, you would have 55, 55, or 505, 505. L is the 50th letter, so love. So I can just draw that right here. So, what I'm going to be doing. And there's so many designs. I'm so overwhelmed. There's there's so many designs of uh, roulette with a straight line. Uh, there's designs in everything. Uh, will they? Do they? There's different ways to to create them. Sometimes if the numbers don't match my head or it's just on top of each other, I try to create an equation so that everything is equal throughout the 36 numbers repetitively until it mirrors itself. And um, yeah, and that's the basic story. So we can create designs and artwork through everything, and it's going to tell its own story. Um, the A word, like the word God, if I had to uh, write the word God over here, and I started here, I'll just use the first part for, for the word. So if I had to use the word God, God is 7 and 4, so that's over here, 7 and 4. And the, word, the O is the 6. So the six would be here's four, here's six. So I would I would draw a line from here over to here. See, but for me, okay. So now when I do that, I must come through five. So fed, deaf. And then if I did it again, depending on whether or not I go one, two, three, and use the same three, and then two, one, one, two, three, three, two, one, or one, two, three, and then skip over to this side, over here. Now, once I skip over and I have a space between both sides, there's got to be a value over here. Unless that value, this is the center, and you don't see the box that's around it. So there's different ways to connect these numbers. We're just going to do it the same way over here. No, there's no fancy picture that's going to come out of this. It's just going to be what it is. And now, you can just fast forward it to the end and just see what the the result is. So this is this is basically and that's what God says. It looks like that. Now the question is um, how do we bridge these 
together, right? How do, what it, where, where is this? How do we bridge this together? Or should it be written this way, right? I did it upside down, right? Let me, let me show you. Let me show you. Four, seven, six. That's the way it looks. Four, seven, and six. Now, if I drew it the other way, right? Okay. One, uh, sorry, four, seven, and six. So when we mirror it, the first way is this way. Four, seven, and six. Actually, it's G-O-D. G-O-D, G-O-D. And when we do it this way, it's the same thing. So now we have to, how do we get from one side to the other? How do we bridge these together? So I have to create some kind of understanding or form, right? How these uh, will link together. How will I be able to go over? Will I have to create the X here? And then I'm going to have to create the X here to bridge it. Why did I do that? I don't know. I had to do something different. I had to make a form. Either I can put a box, which would be on the outside of the lines, or an X. So we're going to do it this way. And now we're going to connect the word dog, go, and go. So this is go, go. G-O-D, G-O-D, D-O-G. And it creates this star. Now if I want to create this a little bit larger, eventually it'll turn into the star David. Like, okay, we're going to continue on here. Now we're going to do the, the, the design from the roulette wheel. We're going to go one, five, nine. Then we're going to go to 12. Then we're going to go to 14. And then we're going to go over to 16. And then we are going to go over to 19. And from 19, it looks like it's a little screwed up my dots. We're going to go 19. We're going to go... Wow, i got to get over to 23, and it doesn't look like there's a straight line. Something's not straight here, but I'm going to do it anyways. The dot is here. This is 24. The dot... 19... Yeah, that's my apartment. What time in a movie is this? 7.52? Listen to that crazy noise. So now we have this. And at the same time, 22, this is 25. Oh, I'm not going to... Yeah, okay, I'll just do that. I'll just do that one step. Okay, uh, let me do that again. They look like half stop signs, eh? Half hexagons. Mars and Earth. So, at the same time, I'm just going to go over to number 18, Ra. 18 ra. Right. Just gonna. It's gonna be connecting that one side, you know. And now, when we get over here, uh, this is 27. This is 30. And then this is 32, and 34. And this is 36. Now we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. But there's two ways to do this. Either I connect the threes together or I keep the threes separate. When I connect them together, I'll be creating diamonds. But I'm going to keep it separate so we see an exact mirror. And then here is 159, 12, 
14, uh, 14, 18, 20, did I get that right? 20, uh, there's 17, 20. Let me do it and then I'm going to, uh, Yes, yeah, 16 and 19, 16, 19, 16 and 19. And then this is 14. And we're going to connect it over here. So these two over here is 18 and 18. And then 16 and 16, 19 and 19, 23 and 23. What number is over here? Well, this side is 147. Uh, so this one would be 30, no, 31 is black, uh, 34, no, not 34, 27, 25, 25, right, 25, that's 25. You know, the roulette wheel shows me one way to do this, and um, I have to try it always because... You know, if you can, you could. You know, if you could, you can. Not hurting anybody. It's art. All right. So that's, oh, 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 oh. That's a, that's a pudgy one, eh? That's a pudgy one. So each one of these will create a different design. So this is the base. At the same time, the, um, the Kaba, Kaba, the Kaba, the Kaba book um, also has this design, the chakras are also in this. Uh, that's the wings of the word G-O-D. Not sure which other way we can do it. And this is only in a small dimension. Like I said, this is the crown. This is the first part of a hexagon. And you can see the angle that it's on. It's not a flat surface. This goes on top. You gotta, you gotta check that angle out. It's like that angle, right? Separation. We're using three numbers. If I did this in rectangular, it'd be a little bit more. Different kind of hat, right? So now, um, I can I can keep going down this. If you wanted to see the opposite side of this, okay, and I'm going to start over over here, is going to be, um, let's see, I'm trying to figure out. Oh, now I'm going to switch this on the inside. Okay, I'm going to do this, but on the inside. So, um, instead of it being that way, it'll be that way. It'll be um, one, five, one, five, nine, AEI. And um, just give me a minute. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve, fourteen, um, fourteen, thirteen, uh, fourteen. Uh, 13, 16. 16. 16.
16, 19. So then the 19 goes through 23 over to 25. Sorry, not 25. 27. 25 is over here. See, 25 was over there. Now 25 is over here. So 25 is over here. So we have 30 over here, right over here, right? Thir uh, we have 27 over here. Now we're going to connect it to 30. So you got 30 over here, and um, then we 34, 36 would have been here before. So we're going to get, just give me a second. Okay. 34, this is 36, 35, 34, so that would be, right, 34, 35, 36. So if you take a look at the two designs, and I'm not done yet, I'm not done yet, but up to now, I'm just going to finish this piece off. Then I'm going to explain it. Okay, now, this and this. All I did is turn it this way and turn it this way, the same way that numbers work. It goes this way and this way. Number one does it also, twists in its own. So where you have one, three, five, nine, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, uh, nineteen, twenty-three. 27, 25, 30, 36, 34, 32. Now, I didn't fill out the other one so you can see how the shapes are coming along. I wanted to do one side, then the next. Okay, now when we come over here, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to invert the next one. So where you saw these two arms coming together over there, right, in this one, it's one, five, nine. That's all I'm connecting. One, five, nine. Nine over to 12. 12 over to 14. Over to uh, 19. Uh, um, 16. 16 over to 19. 19 over to 23. Over to 27. When we go over to 27, we come over to 25. We 27, we go down to 30. 30, we go to 34, and then into 36. And then we have identical design. So try and picture the top one with the bottom one. I'm going to color it. Okay, and that's basically what it's covered in. So you can see the two areas here. To where in this one, you see the single area. Now this piece is not finished. I just wanted to show you, and I can flip this over one more time. Um, I did this back to back and that back to back. Um, there's an empty space over here that's going to match with the, see these two over here? It matches here and here. So anyways, these are the uh, two basic designs. And this is with lines. It's not with boxes. It's not with squares. I'm like I did here on the floor. Here I did it with... Um, just direct lines connected. Um, here I did it with X's. Each X is a singular number. Um, over here, each X is a singular number, but what looks different inside of this is that I did one, three, five, seven, nine odd numbers. Here, I did the even numbers, two, four, six, and eight. When you do that, it creates the hexagon connection to the next side. These boxes are only boxes because of the X. If I did it with squares, 
then it would look like this. So these, this square over here, okay, is 4, and here is 6, and 6 and 4. Everything in the middle I used x's for. So I have 4 and 6, and I have uh, 1, 4, and 10. And I have 10. You see what happens when I use an x? It creates this, like, home plate over here. Um, so I did the 2 over here, and the 5 over here, and the 8 over here. So the outside, I did squares, 2, 4, 6, 8. And the center, I used this. And this one over here, I did that. And then this one over here, um, there's the one, I, forget, I think it's this one over here, where the 5 area, right, 32 equals 5, 23 equals 5, 14 equals 5. And I used the X's for the center area of the 5. The 5 is... A little bit different from the other numbers. I'm not sure, but it works with nine or birth. And this is uh, an unfinished one. I just covered it up. And uh, this is just a, a carpet here on top of the this. Raphael 7286. 